Hey guys, it's Duke at DukeTran.cl and you are watching episode number 40 of the Code Hangout Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create a parallax effect for any kind of view in your app. You already use this kind of feature in an iOS. Now, if you look at the wallpaper of your iPhone, if you tilt the device a little bit, then you will see the whole screens, the whole wallpaper, it moves around. It creates a sense of depth and playfulness in your app. So have you ever wondered how about doing that? Let's do that in this episode of Code Hangouts. As always, if you look at the link right down below or if you are on my blog, just go right down below, enter your name and email there so I can send you the startup project for this episode. And also, I have a new course, a new iOS course that I would love to send you. So check it out and let's go into the live replay of this coding out. This is our starter project and as soon as you open this starter project, let's go to main.storyboard. Here's our main.storyboard, okay? I didn't have any of the things here, so we will do all of these things from scratch. The view controller, didn't have any code, but I just want to put a bunch of images, a bunch of constraints here for you, okay? And then we will do it together. Now, let's go into, right click into this. You will see that this background image, I use an outlet, an IB outlet into this background image as called image view, okay? So we have the image view. Let's go into the view controller and the the framework that we are using in iOS here it has something to do with the Excel, um, the gyroscope and those things and it is the motion framework okay so in the view did load I am going to create something like this let's um, X mean it means that let's say just imagine that your device right here okay the phone that you're having right here it has the X the uh, horizontal axis right and the vertical axis so this is the x and this is the y i hope that you are already in the um, geometry geometry class you know which is the x um, axis and the y axis the same for iphone screens or any kind of ui so we want to move the we want to move the um what, what is that called well, we want to move the wallpaper a little bit so that it's just like shift to the left or shift to the right or shift up or shift down just a little bit not too big not too like not too big not too small if it is too small then the user cannot see anything if it is too big then you will literally move the whole thing okay you don't want to do that so for the x mean maybe we want to do cg float of negative 50 points okay you want to just move to the left or right 50 points and the max x max so the max is, is just 50 points okay just plus 50 or minus 50 of the current x all right next we have to create something called a motion okay a ui interpolating motion effect the mo motion effect and i will call that the x motion equals ui inter interpolating motion effect with the key path motion effect i hope that i do it right with the key part path here we go. The key path in this case, it will go into the view that we are trying to manipulate. In this case, we're trying to manipulate this image view, right? So it goes to from this key path, and let's say the key path here, I want to use center.x. It means that it goes to image view.center.x. The tab here is dot tilt along um, horizontal horizontal hurry I'm having a problem to spell right now tilt along horizontal axis okay so the horizontal axis then we want to set the minimum uh, and the maximum of the motion effect so we have x motion dot minimum relative value equals to 
the x mean and we also have the x motion that maximum relative value equals x max cool all right next how about we have something like this after we got the motion then we were going to create an effect group a motion effect group in order to do that we will need the let motion effect group equals ui motion effect group and is, we'll just use the standard initializer and then i will assign the motion effect of this group of the effect motion effect group into this okay and it is of course it is an array okay motion effect group dot motion effect equals and we have to construct an array here and i will explain a little bit why it is the case that we have an array so we have just the x motion okay and then after that we just have to add the motion effect of this image view to be this motion effect group so we have image view dot add motion effect the motion effect here is motion effect group cool so let me run the device run this on iphone and see how, how it looks like sorry guys if you're watching this live with me then you will have to wait for the machine to run on an iphone so maybe it would not take so long okay here we go it's running on my iphone right now and let me show you that oops all right so here is my iphone screen let's run this once again here we go all right so this is the iphone and notice i can tilt along the axis the x axis okay just the x axis cool now our job left is to tilt along the y axis and after that everything will be good to go now how we can tilt along the y axis well in order to do that we'll have to create another motion okay we just have the x motion now let's create a y motion and so below this act motion i will create let y motion it means that the motion effect on the y axis okay let me put this smaller equals ui interpolating motion effect and this time we also use the key path and guess what it is center dot y and the type here is it should be tilted along the vertical axis right not the horizontal so tilt along vertical axis like that and then we have the y motion dot minimum re relative value equals one now the minimum value here i would just want to use negative 50 points and 50 points but before i use x min and x max here so how about i would change this mean and max okay so that i will just have to do like this change the mean and the max like that so now we have the y motion that minimum relative value to be the mean and maximum relative value to be the max and if we run the project right now nothing will happen because we haven't add these motion effects into the motion effect group dot motion effects so we have to comma y motion like that and now let's be and run to see how it looks like here we go i move it somewhere like that okay and i'm running this on an iphone right now so if you if you run this on an iphone let me i should toggle around the iphone and the face it will lose the connection again run it once again here we go boom see and we have it all right notice you can move along the y-axis and also the x-axis 
All right. Now, before I end this episode of Code Hangout, um, of course, you, if you are watching this live, there will be the next thing. But if you're watching this, if the reason why we have everything like this is you have to do something with auto layout a little bit different just some of the very different thing okay so i will cancel the project goes back into the main storyboard and want to show you this if you click into the background view like that you will see the frame of the image view of the background it is slightly bigger than the view than the view of the view controller itself the reason for that is if the image it is just as small like this then when we scroll when we tilt the device it will go way over the background so what we want to do is cover the whole thing we want to cover the whole uh, background that's why it should be larger and the way that you can do larger like that is you just add a bunch of constraint like this okay after you add a bunch of constraints goes into the actual inspector like that and size inspector all right and you will see the constraints of these images of the image the leaning space is not equals to zero it does not attach immediately like closely into the super view but rather it is negative 50 points to the left of the leading space the top space is negative 50 okay and also the top face space okay here i put in negative one 108 is because i want this logo it attaches to that also okay so just some just some movement and as you do it in your project i believe that you will see um, some of the problems that you have and you can fix it okay all right now i hope that you enjoy this next up we are going to do something else all right i hope that you enjoyed this episode of code hangout as always goes back into your inbox because I just sent you another email and inside that email you will find the link to my new iOS course that I just want to give you as a free gift just to say thanks for checking out Code Hangout with me and as always show up here at 6 p.m. tomorrow and we are going to meet live interactive to each other you can ask me any questions as you like just go into the inbox now check out the new iOS course and I believe that you will love it so much. So I see you in next episode of Code Hangout. See ya.